With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is: Time period of Earth is taken as t and its distance from Sun as r. What will be the distance of a certain planet from Sun whose time period is sixty-four times that of Earth? Hence, we can say here: Suppose this is the Sun. This is let's say Earth, and this is another planet whose distance from the Sun is sixty-four times that of let's say Earth. So this is Sun, this is Earth, and this is let's say the planet. For distance r, time period is t. Now, if time period becomes sixty-four times that of Earth, that is t dash here is sixty-four times t. Then what will be the distance between sun and the corresponding planet? Hence, as we know by Kepler's law of time period, that t square is proportional to r cube. Therefore, we can say t one square divided by we have here t two square is equal to we can say as r one cube divided by r two cube. Now t one here is our t whole square and corresponding to it distance is r. So r cube divided by t two here is sixty four t. So this is 64 t whole square and r2 here is d which we need to find out. And t square t square cancels out. So d cube comes out here as r cube into we can say here 64. This becomes whole square. So this here comes out here as we can say d is equal to r into cube root of this. So 64 here can be written as This is our eight square, that is two cube whole square of square, that is power four, and this is cube root of this. Hence, on calculation, we can say this comes out here as d is equal to two power four into r, that is sixteen r. That is, we can say here the distance will be sixteen times that between the sun and the earth. Hence, sixteen r is our answer for class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.